Hey, hi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Sonia. I'm a second year math PhD student studying in Canada. And I make videos about what it's like to be a PhD student and sometimes things more about uh, math related topics. So if you've noticed I've been away for a while, I will exp explain that right now. Hello again, I am back. To me it's felt like a really long time, but maybe no one even noticed. But yeah, I haven't uploaded in a while and this video will just be a vlog as you can obviously see from the title. So I've been moving, which is why I'm in like all this chaos. And also maybe I'm talking quietly because I'm shy of my new roommates. Um, but yeah, if you look like, I don't know, it's like quite chaotic haven't really settled in yet but this new house is amazing like I think my bedroom's the size of my whole apartment from before and it's built like a study house because everyone here is a grad student and they all provided us desks um, in the common area and and the common area sort of have the vibe of the math buildings graduate study area which obviously I've missed in the past like 14 months that I haven't been able to use it so it's quite nice uh, but yeah it's hard for me to focus on like many things at once so the past few weeks was like moving research and like nothing else <laughs> I could really do um, since school is really my first priority and like moving was just like I had to do it like <laughs> there's no choice in that I haven't really had time to do plan any sit down videos, but I do plan to do them. Um, I promised I would make one on is a PhD worth it. I don't want to rush that because it's a big decision and I don't want to accidentally like say something wrong and possibly like make someone change their mind or something. Um, I, I just want to do a good job on it and I also want to do my videos on the female mathematicians. Uh, but after I settle in here, I, I think I can really try to do a good job on those because I really don't want to do a crappy job. Until then, I'll just vlog because it's easier for, for me. Um, but hopefully I'll just do this vlog and the next one will be the reasons to do a PhD video and then maybe a vlog and then uh, some female mathematician, which would will be Karen I see her name wrong. Karen Ullenbeck. And fun fact, I'm going to a women in mathematics conference at the end of the month. And by going to like attending online, I'm not going anywhere, sadly. Uh, but it, one of the lectures is in honor, in, her, in honor of her. So I would really like to learn about her in depth before starting this. I think that would be nice. Um, so th today it's Thursday morning. I just finished like a slow morning routine. I woke up like three hours ago and just getting to work right now. But I have a meeting tomorrow with my supervisors. So I'm going to do what I can to prepare for that. And I will explain what I'm doing. So this is super exciting to me. We're actually trying to prove or we have like a, a theorem we think is true and we're almost to the stage of proving it and I've never done this before, like I've never had my own theorem. Well, by my own I mean with my supervisors and myself. But yeah, it's so exciting to me, I've, I've been like nerding out about this. And like one of, one of my like dreams is to eventually have a paper with some results, so this is like a step on the way to that. So I will explain to you guys what exactly this is, um, especially if, if you're into math, uh, maybe you'll find this interesting. So I'm, I'm studying this vial module, but for a special case, which is um, this algebra SL2 tensor, this polynomial ring. Um, and then it is, well, there, there's lots of stuff here, but basically it's has this generator W and then some relations and a priori, um, just looking at these relations, it's not finite dimensional, but our theorem is to show that it is finite dimensional. I was trying to just find this formula where 
we have some ugly thing and eventually you can choose a k such that this is equal to zero and then I just have these other f's and that would give me some like relations between the f's uh, to get what I want but like if you look this formula is horrible and I have not had much luck trying to prove it like uh, this is it's just like some combinatorial things so I might try to do something else where instead of just having some general t and k uh, I will do like a more specific thing that I actually need and it might be it might give me like an easier formula I thought I thought I could do the like general one but maybe it was just way too much yeah so that is what I'm going to work on probably the whole day like not all day straight but on and off that's my goal for today because I have a meeting tomorrow with my advisors so I'd like to like have some more stuff done by then I'm gonna have help from my trusty friend Emmy This is what I came up with for my special case, which is still bad, but not as bad as before at least. Good afternoon so I just had my lunch break and I just watched some TV and went for a nice walk even though it's still like really cold outside my hands kind of turned purple but now it's time to try and fo focus again I got some progress as you saw in the morning and I think that formula should work for me I'm trying to do it using proof by induction so I did the base case before lunch and now I'm going to try to do like the inductive step, whatever it's called. And hopefully I can prove that formula and then use it for my theorem. So it's 3 p.m. and usually the most I'll study, till I'm study until is like 10 p.m. So I still have like a fair amount of time to get more done before my meeting. I hope at the very least though I'll be able to prove this formula. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.